all the people with the backwards attitude. Born in fingers, and that's a bad excuse for sitting on your ass when you can play. Hi everyone, this is Donald. I'm just making a video. I'm going to be responding to a video by a Christian apologist on Twitter known as Heleno Hanzo. I used to believe he was a Poe or a troll, but I've learned since then that he isn't. I've already made one response to one of his videos, though normally I wouldn't bother, but I must take action to debunk, debunk him even if it means giving him undeserved attention. I know that this, at this point in time, I'm a nobody on YouTube, but it is incumbent upon me to counter his ignorance and let the chips fall where they may. I've already put more preparation and work into this video than I normally do on my videos. I'm just that serious about this topic and just he's just so noxious and poisonous his whole point of view on the world now Heleno 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 you done messed up there guy what do I mean you've done something that very few people have been able to do that is get my interest and not in a good way let me say from the outset I do not hate you but it is now my mission to educate people, as many people as possible, who might come into contact you, with you and your poisonous vitriol about how dangerous and ignorant you really are. You've raised my ire to the point that I'm willing to put as much time and effort that it takes to expose you as a dangerous primitive that you are. Now, don't go trying to say that I... I'm doing this because you're a Christian. Nothing could be farther from the truth. I know plenty of Christians who are kind, intelligent, loving, who act with integrity and honor, whom I respect and like. You are a different beast. Never in all my born days have I come across anyone as ignorant and proud of it as you. Trust me, I've known some niggerant motherfuckers in my day. And none of them come even close to your level of stupidity. Now, before getting into this video, I need to give a special thank you to VideoWiser for making the fair use disclaimer, disclaimer that I used in my video and making it available on his channel for use by others. Now, sit back. And enjoy the ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Many people claim to be Christian, but their daily decisions are not based on requests approval from the Bible. They run for political position, but their decision, vote, proposal of laws are not directed by the Bible. Many vote. Should realize that despite Christian conservatives and their narrative and revisionist history, the United States was founded as a secular nation. The founding fathers even went so far as to create a wall of separation between the government and religion to protect the right of all its citizens to worship or not worship as they wish, and to prevent any religion or denomination from being able to force their beliefs on everyone else. When you say the laws should be directed by the Bible, does that mean the whole Bible or just the cherry-picked por portions 
that Christianity actually uses. But forget their vote must be according to how God will vote? Exactly how do you know how God would want you to vote? Does he tell you? How do you know you're not being delusional? What if God tells others something different? What makes you sure what you think God wants is right and those who disagree with you are wrong? Why should an archaic book decide how anyone should vote? We, the true Christian, beside voting and proposing laws based on Bible doctrine? In other words, trying to force your beliefs on everyone else. This is wrong and frankly evil, and I will fight against it with all of my might, this ignorance of thinking that you or any religious person or group or denomination should be able to force their beliefs on the entire society. Again, this is not a Christian theocracy. It is a secular nation from its founding. You should be ashamed of yourself for even thinking that our law should be based on some archaic book from the Bronze Ages. We have children. We don't destroy our offspring. Do the world a favor and don't procreate. Let your ignorance die with you. As to abortion, it's distasteful, but I will fight for women's rights to control her own body and her own destiny and to stop the government and ignorant people like you from taking that control away from them. We oppose all kind of morality from homosexualism to murder, but we allow second chance if the perpetrators repent. The real immorality comes from ignorant and bigoted minds such as yourself and others trying to impose your religion on everyone else. Based only on a few verses from an ancient book written by primitive minds who knew no better, while ignoring everything that we've learned from observing nature and scientific breakthroughs like genetics. Further, you should be ashamed of yourself for trying to compare homosexuality with murder. This is sickening to me. Murder was morally wrong before the earliest portions of the Bible were written down. Murder is not wrong because of the edict of some god or deity, but is wrong because humans have always been an interdependent and social animal. And the survival of the species has always depended on the cooperation of everyone within humanity or the community or the tribe or the clan. You are very, very wrong that morality comes from a god. It doesn't. It is a human construct like everything else related with humanity. Also, where did you learn English? Your speech is riddled with archaic out-of-use words like homosexualism. This seems to indicate to me that you have a poor grasp of the language. I mean, how long have you lived in America? Haven't you, like, taken any time to try to refine your English to become a better speaker of the English language? Are you kidding me? You use more archaic words and phrases than I do. I would strongly recommend that not only do you work on your accent, but you improve your knowledge of the English language and how to speak it. You would get farther in the world in life if you did. Just saying. We oppose all kind of fantasy driven waste like space exploration? 
fantasy-driven waste like space exploration? Really? Are you kidding me? As I've tried to tell you on Twitter, and as I'll attempt to explain to you in more detail than Twitter allows, what you consider as wasteful has developed and improved many of the things people like you take for granted every day. No, space exploration did not invent the computer. It did pioneer the miniaturization of circuitry that took the computer from room-sized devices to the ones we have now, and also made the smartphone possible. Even the internet that allows you to post videos and spout your ignorance on social media owes a debt to the space industry. Virtually all electronic communications on Earth are relayed via satellite, built by, launched by, and maintained by the so-called fantasy-driven waste of the space industry. People like you are too thick to see the benefits in everyday life that the space industry has contributed to, from medicine, agriculture, food preservation, electronic goods, and so on. A person could make a career out of just pointing out all the innovations made possible by space or exploration. If you really meant all the crap you've said to me on Twitter, consider disconnecting from the grid. Take your Bible and live the life of a simple dirt farmer. You know you should show the rest of us how it's done. I mean, if you really believed that all a person needs is a Bible, food, water, and possibly shelter, you would do this. But you won't because you're just as addicted as the rest of us. And I make no qualms that I'm addicted to technology. So, just consider that, please. We oppose all kind of agenda and ideology which contradicts science backed by a Bible, such old universe theory. If we respect and enforce natural generals of man and woman. You've got to be kidding me. This coming from the guy who thinks that education is a conspiracy and has shown time and time again he doesn't have any understanding of the basics of science, the scientific method, or anything to do with scientific theories and laws or anything. The age of the universe, evolution, and the scientific method are all tried and true. They're demonstrably, demonstrably fact, unlike your book of ancient fables. Well, of course you oppose feminism. Let me guess. You think women should be the chattel of men. They shouldn't be allowed to pray or speak in churches, hold jobs, vote, or go out in public without an escort and be covered up so as to not tempt men into gasp, lust. Sure, you're not a Muslim because you kind of sound like one. You're the same kind of fanatical fundamentalists that you see in in Islam and you're even worse than the, the worst fundamentalist within Christianity. I have never seen someone as ignorant as you. Now gender roles are largely a social con construct. If you believe that the roles are to be dictated by the Bible, then you must believe in what those things that I had listed earlier. You are a plebeian whose ideology should be fought against with vigor. And I'm the guy, I'm a guy who will do that. It should, it needs to be done and I will be, and I will do it. We have a common table, not a common bed. What the fuck do you actually mean by this? 
this has got to be the most idiotic thing you've said in this video. And I've watched this video ad nauseum making the script for this video, for my own video. And besides, for most of human history, it was common for families to share a common bed, especially in the winter when it was really cold. It also fostered familial ties. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Again, this is something that you have absolutely no knowledge about and make no sense and make no actual point. We are in the flesh, but we don't live after flesh. Again, what do you actually mean by this? Man, man, look on your accent. It's pronounced live, not leave. Your grasp of the English language leaves a lot to be desired. Get it? Leave? The idiot meter just keeps creeping up and up as this video goes on and on. Okay, to be honest, it only seems like it goes on forever because of the amount of time that I've spent in making this video. It doesn't actually go on forever. It's only 2 minutes and 20 seconds. We pass our days on earth, but our citizens on This has got to be the funniest, saddest comment you've made in this video. How can one be a citizen of an imaginary place like heaven? What if you're worshipping the wrong god? Are you prepared to face up to whatever god might exist? Unlike you, I'm comfortable with who I am and what I believe. I'm willing to face whatever deity I might find myself in front of, if one even exists. And I'm willing to take whatever punishment comes my way, or whatever comes my way. Are you willing to do that? Are you so confident or arrogant to believe that you somehow have this truth? Is there not even part of you that wonders if possibly you might be wrong? Doubt is a natural part of life. A fake it till you make it approach is not one I can accept and not one that I could live with. I couldn't pretend to believe in something that I am not convinced of. And if you're so convinced, you could prove it with real evidence and real facts backed up by real evidence. But you're not able to. And, you've, and your ilk have never been able to. So therefore you have to use straw man and manipulative, manipulative and l basically lies to argue for an undefensible position. Of heaven, we obey the prescribed biblical laws and at the same time suppress the laws by our lives. You surpass the law? Really? Do you live by the whole of the Abrahamic law? Or just the cherry-picked parts you learned through the Australian Correspondence Bible College that you're so proud of? And what about the part in the, the Gospels where Jesus clearly says that not one jot or tittle of the law will be done away with until his return. Has he returned? No. What happens, like so often with the biblical text, apologists like you take that passage out of total context and twist it to meet a narrative that later of authors and people have come up with. Now in the Bible the only way you can get around the clear edict of Jesus 
is to declare that Paul had the authority to override that edict. Are you willing to make the admission that you are actually following the ideals of Paul and not the actual edicts of Jesus as written in the Gospels themselves? We love all humans, but are prosecuted by all. We are unknown, but condemned. You love all? Really? Well, except for atheists, feminists, free thinkers, and anyone else who happens to disagree with you. Saying that you're loving doesn't match what you present as being you online. You think that all the people I've listed somehow deserve eternal tor torture and punishment for minor things. This is not a loving or Christian attitude. The Christ you supposedly worship is not the God that I, that is described in the Bible. And even then, there's not very much evidence that actually shows that Jesus existed as a single person. Now, as for being persecuted, you're not being persecuted. You've admitted that you believe that your beliefs and your religion should be enforced on everyone, even those who don't share your religious belief. I think your persecu persecution complex comes from the fact that people have the guts to stand up to you and to, and to the theocracy that you seem to yearn for. As far as being unknown, well, I think you find that you've made quite an impression on a number of people on the internet, including me. Unknown you are not. We are in lack of all things, it abound in all. We are dishonored. Yet more what the fuck comments from you. I, I would comment more if what you said made any kind of sense. But that's your modus operandi, isn't it? Just spout a bunch of gibberish and confused and muddled crap hoping that people might somehow see into your warped and twisted mind and make some kind of sense out of the words that you say. But you're not making any sense. You're not convincing. You're not some great thinker. Hell, you think thinkers are evil. So, what the fuck? It, in our dishonor, are glorified, we are even spoken of, but respond to patient and truth, we are insulted, but we pay insult with honor. Dishonored and spoken evil of? Really, you really do have a persecution pro complex, don't you? People like me merely call you out on your colossal ignorance. And let's be honest, you, de you deserve to be dishonored because you have no honor or integrity. What you say and how you say it demonstrates this fact every day. Respond with patience and truth? That's a joke. Lest you forget it was you who suggested the amazing atheist and I should kill ourselves as a response to me liking his video on overpopulation. That shows a distinct lack of patience and love and even Christian charity. So don't give me this crap that you are being dishonored or that you're a loving person. You demonstrate that you're not. We do good, yet are punished as evil doors. You're not being punished, no matter what you think. Get over yourself. I mean, it's not punishment 
whenever someone calls you out for being ignorant, no matter how butthurt you get about it. I think you feel like a failure because your diploma mill education is easily seen through and does not stand up to scrutiny. Also, your arguments convince no one and impress no one. I can't speak for anyone but myself, but I don't hate you. I just feel obligated to stand in opposition of your vile, evil delusions and ideology. I would say that if someone does hate you, they are justified in that hate by the way you for the re, by the way you present yourself online, the videos you make, and the bile you spew every day. Like I said, I don't hate you. Unlike so-called Christians like yourself, I actually love people. I actually care about people. I don't think that they are deserving of eternal torture because they don't agree with you. I don't think that people should be judged or ridiculed or not have the rights they are entitled to as human beings simply because of the standards of your religion. I think you're wrong in everything you say and everything you do. And again, I will be here for however long and for as long as I can and call you out on your ignorance. We are hated, but those who hate us have no justification for their hatred. To sum it all up in few words, what the soul is to the body, they are the Christian in the world. Finally, we come to the end of your video, and you end it with another confused, meaningless, what the fuck comment that shows just how truly clueless you are. Well, there you go, folks. Just one of the ignorant video produced and uploaded by Helen Heleno. Don't forget, I will probably make more of these videos and comment more of the nonsense that this clueless apologist has made. I don't know if I'm gonna, how many of these I'll make, but I, I'm going to make a few at least. This, is, this whole thing has been a, a learning experience for me. It's been fun. I'm beginning to understand more how people who actually make their living on YouTube, how much work they put into their videos, how much time they put into their videos. I guess it's fun, it's stimulating, and I realize that those who do make money on YouTube deserve every penny they earn because they work for it. So until next time, broaden your mind, try to learn something new every day.